boxing, the basics and the fundamentals. If you learn the basics and fundamentals, it'll take you a very long way. You need to do about six week intensive basics course. Working out balance, movement, and position. Tell him about Parky listening to Parky's corner this morning. Anyway, I'm sat here down the bed here and I've been talking about the basics and fundamentals. For me, the basics is movement. You've got to learn to move. Like I said, you saying on the field, when your feet get you into trouble and your feet get you out. So, learn to move your feet. And when you've learned to move your feet, Learn to move your head and your Learn to move your head and your body. Do that in shadow boxing. And then when you finish that, learn the front row. And which punches go where. It's like, it's like if you want to be a good student, you don't be a follower. That means find out your own style and what works for you. How you can generate that differently from other people. I can get things here. So, yeah, so we're the basics and the fundamentals. Isn't it? If you work on six weeks on them, getting your footwork, getting the movement, and your, your boxing stance, position, it will make you feel comfortable and move. The movement in. Like I said, he's boxing to be a follower. There's too many people in Tyson for a champion to become my Tyson. Tyson. You know, you've got to find yourself. Which I've always said. As soon as you said the boxing is a little bit far, it's very good. And it's very painful. And boxing will take forever. Boxing with them fingers will rip your ass. Like I said, there's loads of disappointments in boxing. You can get ready for a fight. Everything keeps it up. What happens? You fight with your opponent and you're out. Theo's having a good fight against the kid who's got a big mouth. And that's why he's got this fight. So I hope he can back his mouth up. I watch him um, and I know we're listening to both his corner this morning. I know a lot of people don't like him, but he has some good things on. He talks since a lot of time. And he was talking about Cal Fudge. And now he has Cal Fudge, how can he have so many hard fights? So why should he sacrifice six weeks, twelve weeks in training camp to fight somebody he knows he can beat? Uh, and that's it, we're looking for tests and PR for the test when he can box somebody better. So 
hard for this kid to give him a test. To see his, he's learning boxing well. So that'll be good. It'll be good to see. And it'll be good to get some support from anywhere. I'm out for today, for tomorrow. Uh,